Dorms and classrooms are fuller than usual at Albright College this fall. The 675-member class of 2017 is the largest in the college's history. Dean of Admissions Greg Eichhorn says a growing reputation is one of the key reasons why more first-year students are choosing Albright. First and foremost, the college continues to have a stronger and better name and better recognition each year. We're seeing that in all different arenas. But for many engaged in the college search, cost of attendance is equally as important as reputation. Thanks to the college's new financial aid policy, attending Albright is a possibility for more students than ever before. We took a radical step with our new policy. As long as students' families met their requirements and deadlines associated with admissions and financial aid, that we would um, meet 100% of their demonstrated need for for new students, new freshmen. Albright's promise to meet 100% of financial need starts with the class of 2017. Eichhorn says the number of new freshmen is a sign of first-year success. Uh, we were able to attract the, a larger class. We were able to afford the larger class. We were able to budgetarily do what we wanted to do. You know, year one proved to be pretty successful. The new financial aid policy appeals to many in search of an, an affordable education, as do the fundamental qualities associated with the college over its long history. Vice President of Enrollment and Director of Admissions Chris Bohm shares what some of those qualities are. There's a lot of things special about Albright. I think we've always known that. I think it's a great education, it has phenomenal facilities, and it has phenomenal people. I mean, the the students and the professors and the administrators have created a culture here that's extremely welcoming. They really fall in love with it a lot. The job of Albright admissions is far from over. The search for next year's freshman class will soon begin. Bohm says the number of students who arrive next fall depends on those already here. I would think that the interest in Albright will continue to rise uh, as our students have positive experiences. Any student goes home and tells 10 friends that, that they had a good experience, check out Albright, then some of them will. I think we will again see that the wonderful experience will mean that we'll get a lot of great accepted students and, and a lot of students want to enroll. Providing the experience students look for is no easy task with the freshman body 60 percent larger than a year before. Dean of Students Gina Krantz discusses the challenges Albright faces with welcoming so many new faces. There were a lot of concerns. I mean, you know, students here are here to get and uh, participate in a quality education. So, of course, the first concern was, do we have classroom space and faculty to accommodate that and to accommodate and do it well, right? We are a residential college, so do we have places to house them? Um, and then being able to provide the resources to help students succeed once they're here. But what kind of demand would be on the academic learning center? What kind of demand would be on our health center or counseling services? Those were some of the concerns, and I think we resolved them before anyone even knew they might be concerned. Krantz says size isn't the only thing special about Albright's newest class. We have students from Texas and Kansas and California. We also have a lot of local students who are choosing to live on campus, which is a little different. I would say the geographical and other forms sort of diversity is what, to me, is sort of striking about this class. Following a successful move-in day, orientation, and first week of classes, freshmen are settled in. Krantz hopes these newest Albrightians are here to stay. So really the real question, I think, will be going into next year when we look at how many students return. Our hope is that we will retain students, um, that they feel like the academics are worth it, that they're getting a lot out of it, that they're engaged on campus that they have the support they need to succeed. John Wallace, Albright College Campus News, WXAC. From WXAC-FM, this is Campus News, a production of the communications program serving the Albright College community with student-produced news coverage of campus events and issues.